Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading for January 22nd to the 29th. This is for Scorpio and Scorpio Rising, and we're going to jump right to it. That's right. This is a loaded week. This is the most important week of the month. This is a very powerful week, and there's a lot going on. So, Scorpio, if you have felt the winds of change as of late, well, get ready to feel currents of change. This is going to be a really, really powerful week because, you know, we kicked it off with Pluto and the sun moving into Aquarius over the weekend. Really, really big. So obviously Pluto and Aquarius affecting for the next uh, 20 years. But let's just focus on Pluto and the sun in Aquarius right now for the next four weeks. A lot of activity around home, around family, around children, moving. You may be moving. You may be moving in with a partner considering Jupiter's in your house of relationships and partnerships. There's a lot happening here, okay? A lot of forward momentum. Now, if you think about Aquarius, such a mental sign, right? It's air sign, a lot of mental activity, a lot of thinking. But in terms of like uh, being a lot more future forward, a lot of like forward thinking, innovative thinking. Uh, but it's also like Aquarius is known to be like the rebellious sign. Uh, very, the sign of independent, very independent here. I mean, very individualistic as well. Marching to your own drumbeat, okay? So it really is like Robin's dancing on my own. I love this energy. This is really nice. Now, what's happening this week? We kick it off with the moon in Cancer for the very for the very first free, uh, few days, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Moon will be in Cancer. Uh, the moon rules Cancer, so this is really nice. There's this emotional uh, 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 intensity, this, uh, but in a nice way. This nurturing energy, a lot of uh, intuit uh, intuitive energy, uh, heightened intuition, uh, even heightened emotions uh, in and emotional intelligence as well. This is going to be very interesting because this is all. In your ninth house of spirituality, your philosophy, even higher education, learning of uh, long distance travel could be something that you're thinking about now, or you know, people overseas, or working with people overseas, or even publishing and broadcasting that could be something. Uh, but even still, this is going to be a really big week for you to communicate to, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Actually, I'm going to talk about it now because while this is happening on the 23rd, yes, this is a third big thing happening this week, and we're only at Tuesday on Tuesday. Uh, the 23rd Venus will move into Capricorn. Why is this a big deal? Because we already have Mars in Capricorn. Uh, we already have Mercury in Capricorn. Now we have this stellium of inner planets in Capricorn. All right. So this is a lot of energy in a sign for you. It is your third house of communication, of writing, re uh, uh, reading, researching, uh, communicating, uh, even uh, short distance travel. So you see how there's a lot of travel stuff happening here for you this week as well. OK, uh, this is more short distance travel, but it's really interesting for me to see this for you because Venus um is all about love. It's all about romance. It's all about beauty. It's all about money. It's all about sex. So it could be like communicating in terms of those areas of your life as well. Now, being in Capricorn, Venus in Capricorn is very unique because think about all those things in a in 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 a sign that's all about practicality. It's all about discipline, right? So adding that to what your heart desires. So being very pragmatic in terms of long-term goals, that really is the theme here, long-term. That's what I want you to know with all this Capricorn energy. And so uh, really, really, really interesting because you could start building this new system for yourself around this time. But again, the key is being very communicative too, okay? Being very communicative. Now, on the 25th, now we're at Thursday, the full moon in Leo. Another big thing happening this week, the full moon in Leo is really big. I love the moon in Leo, okay? This is just something, it's a place that is very playful. It's very fun. A lot of family energy, a lot of children energy around this. So really great full moon that I love. Now, here's where it gets interesting is that this full moon in Leo will be opposite the sun in Aquarius, squaring Jupiter. Oh my goodness. So now you're just like, okay, what is going on here? Well, let me tell you what's going on. This is a great full moon, but as you know, full moons do bring culmination, okay? And they illuminate things. So now this is all happening in your 10th house of career. So now you're probably thinking around this time, there's something about my career where I've got to let go. I've got to let go there. You could feel a little exhausted and drained around this time. And 
your mind maybe on career matters. Uh, if you're not here for career, it's public recognition, okay? It's fame, it's it's honors, achievements, something around that. Uh, it's also uh, how you want to be perceived. It could also just be something that you're really passionate about. But there is a sense of, am I exerting a lot of energy into something that is actually not bringing me pleasure, right? Is it Or something that I may realize I'm indulging in or spending uh, an excessive amount of time uh, indulging in, overindulging. Uh, it could be like this extravagant thing. But in any case, every Scorpio is different. Every Scorpio is going to feel it in a different way. But I want you to ask yourself, uh, what's got to go? What's got to go? All right. So now we get to Friday where Uranus goes direct. Absolutely huge, especially because Uranus going direct means there are no zero. There are zero planets retrograde. Okay. There are no planets retrograde. So when I say you're going to feel currents of change, you are going to feel like that energy. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing slowing you down. Nothing slowing you down. Okay. And remember Mars is in Capricorn. That's still bringing a lot of energy too. Right. So, uh, this is a big thing because Uranus is the ruling planet for Aquarius. So now you see, we have Uranus, uh, 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 that's, uh, Aquarius is ruling planet that is like, uh, free, now, and Uranus is all about freedom, actually. And Uranus is all about breakthroughs and innovation and uh, uh, surprises and the unexpected. So you may start seeing that and you may have something really unexpected happen this weekend. And I'm going to tell you why. And it's because Uranus is very active. But before you even get there, Saturday, Mercury conjunct Mars the same day that Venus excels Saturn. What a big deal this is. This is huge. Mercury, the planet of communication, okay, conjuncting Mars, which is in Capricorn, which happens to be in your third house of communication. So right now, I want you to think about things and put them into action. The things that are on your mind, put them into action now, okay? Put them into action and communicate. Remember, communication is going to be key for you. Now, remember the same day, Venus will sextile Saturn. So now we're talking about love and money and beauty uh, and 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 even like uh, like uh, things in, in like maybe neighbors and family members as well. Remember, it's a big family week, like energy this week. Uh, there is something that you may want to bring stability to around this time. Remember, Saturn is all about that. OK, it is all about that. And it does happen to be Saturn does have to happen to be in Pisces in your fifth house, which, again, family and love and children and even romance, creativity, self-expression. But even still, just think around this time. Now you may be adjusting to new changes that are happening to your life in your life. And there may be uh, uh, some things that uh, you think about that you're like, okay, I, I really want this for me now, especially coming after that full moon when you're letting something go. Now we get to the 28th, we get to Sunday, Venus trying Jupiter. This is the best day of the month. You know, I've been talking about this uh, happens to be my birthday too. I mentioned that earlier. So I'm very excited, which is uh, what are the chances? Because this is such a powerful aspect, a very beautiful, auspicious aspect. It's all about love. It's all about money. It's all about things that are dear to your heart. Jupiter is all about expansion too. Jupiter is all about uh, 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 prosperity, good fortune, uh, wisdom, and profit as well. All right. So here's the thing. Jupiter is in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So there may be something there. If you are single, you better go out there. You better go mingle. You better go to the uh, uh, bars, the libraries, wherever you meet singles, the, the the Dairy Queens. I don't even. You do you, Scorpio. You do you. You go out there, meet some singles because you could. There could be some like longevity to this. Remember, I said theme is long term. All right, with with what's going on this week. Now, uh, what I love about this, I mean, like think about it. Venus is in Capricorn. Uh, 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 Jupiter is in Taurus, and then on this day, the Moon will be in Virgo. Which interestingly, again, remember that's my birthday and my. I, in my birth chart, I have a Virgo moon. So I'm, again, very interested in what may happen for me that day. But uh, just think about that. Three earth signs is very grounding. So remember, this stability energy is so strong. Um, on that same day, Mercury will trine Uranus. Remember, our hero here, Uranus, that just went direct. Okay? Uh, so Mercury trining Uranus. Remember, all that communication. So there could be some unexpected news that you hear. Or maybe you relay. There may be something just there could be a big breakthrough around this time. You could have this breakthrough experience. And the reason why, because the next day, Mars will try and Uranus. So you see 
it's really amplified energy with these trines with Uranus, all about breakthroughs, all about surprises, unexpected shifts. This is huge. Mars, all about action. You're, you know, traditional ruler here. This is really, really big. Uh, uh, with uh, So think about this weekend, like uh, all this activity with Jupiter and Uranus, right? Both being in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So whether it's career, work, whether it's love, romance, whether it's you know your uh your your, your you know the the uh, uh your uh, the your cashier at the Whole Foods. I don't know. You know, just one on one, one on one. Just think one on one partnerships here. Uh, this really could be. Uh, you may have some unexpected uh, uh, surprises, all right? But remember, these are trying. So these are favorable. These are, you're like, whoa, I didn't expect this proposal. That is something that could happen with Venus trying Jupiter. And, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen around this time. Uh, but it's also a time for, it's it, like, you could even surprise yourself with some actions you take. Uh, it really is a, a window this weekend. It's a window, uh, basically like a portal to the new changes happening in your life. And I know the 29th is Monday, but it really is like grouped in with this like bundle of amazing, amazing stuff happening this week. So uh, this weekend, but let's let's get started. Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you. All right. For January 22nd to the 29th. Again, this is for Scorpio and Scorpio rising. And if you know your birth chart, if you want to read for your moon and your Venus to get more insight in those areas of your life, you are absolutely welcome to. As you know, it is a very powerful full moon this week uh, and Venus is very very active. So Scorpio, let's get started. Now, Scorpio, like I said earlier, I do a traditional, oh, I didn't say it. I do a traditional cultic cross spread really does bring the best overview. If we uh, need to pull clarifiers, we'll pull clarifiers. Um, secondly, Scorpio, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I'm very excited for y'all. Look at you go. Look at you go. This really is a breakthrough week. You are definitely gonna, and you know, thinking about, oh my gosh, Wow. Yeah. Definitely partnership activity still going, still going on. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. I was about to bring something up um, from your plat your last reading that came to mind just, just a second ago. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Now, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Very, very nice. I really like this for you. Okay. Really like this for you. This is that longevity energy that I was talking about. This is a knight. Knights are all about action, right? They all work for the queen. They're, they're really putting effort into the things that they do. This knight, biggest field in tarot here. This is someone who's planted seeds, uh, going to reap their rewards. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it takes. They're in it to win it. Okay. It's that long-term energy, that commitment energy that comes with the Knight of Pentacles, especially because the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Okay. So there is also that sense of like, uh, really sticking with it and whatnot, but it, for you, Scorpio, Virgo, that's your 11th house of your hopes and wishes. Okay. So can have to do with money, can have to do with wealth. But again, pentacles are your physical reality. So, hey, what are you investing in? That's that's what it's asking. What do you want to invest in? What have you invested in that you want to take for the long haul? There is this commitment level, like a high level of commitment that's coming through this week. And you're going to get it. And it's and there's this it, it's going to be very nice because you got the page of pentacles now. So very, very, very nice here. I mean, you see your card, your entire spread is dominated by pe pentacles, by the way, but uh, which is money and wealth, uh, which is going to be uh, a, a, a thing. But uh, page of pentacles. There you go. Pages, they bring in that fresh new energy, that new change. There is something that you are eyeing. There's something that you do want to manifest. Uh, there is something new that you want to bring into your life. And for a lot of y'all, it's going to happen for sure 1000 percent. okay so there is this new energy that's uh coming through this page i really love him okay speaking of like uh you know with venus trying jupiter over the weekend uh pages are earthbound and so are pentacles so there is this earthy quality to this grounding energy and this is a, a page that likes to learn he wants to turn he, you know he wants to be mark cuban basically he wants to turn that pentacle he wants to be the king of pentacles he wants to he wants all that and he will commit to it and he will learn the ropes. He will do everything he can to get there. All right. So this is definitely uh, he, he, look how compelled he is by that pentacle. Like he really is in it to win it. And so are you. And there is something new happening in your life with the page being in the heart of your spread. Now, wow. Two of cups in your challenge area again. OK, again, remember last week that happened. OK, if you saw last week's reading, you have the two of cups. 
in your challenge area. So there may be a little bit of attention you might have to put toward partnerships and relationships or even a friendship. Okay. Even a friendship. There could be something there uh, or even some self-love. Okay. Learning to love yourself. Uh, once you learn, uh, you, what is that saying? You, you got to love yourself before you love someone else or something like that. Uh, but it's true. You've got to like have that self-love because then you're, you're in touch with your super conscious and everything is so much easier and you feel a lot more intuitive and everything just falls into place. So a lot of self-love energy that is coming through this week where it's like, yeah, I'm good enough for this or yeah, I can have this and you know, everything works out in your favor that way. Pay attention to partnerships though. Okay. Even again, like I said, career, uh, it's, it can be career. It can be whatever resonates with you. It can be a, a significant other. It can be a partnership at home, but there is a sense of like, let's put some attention on that, uh, because there is this newness that's happening as well. All right. But, uh, I, I feel like a little bit of a strain in that area. You're going to be fine looking at what's happening here. Look at, look at all these pentacles. Who are you? I want to be your friend. Give me some of your money, Scorpio. I'm joking. Listen, you got the four of pentacles in your crown. So there you go. There's that stability energy. I want you to communicate. That's the big message coming through for you, uh, you especially. I'm not saying this to every other sign. You, it's the big energy. It's like there is a sense of like, I want you to communicate this week. I want you to be heard, okay? Now, with the Four of Pentacles, which actually happens to be, uh, this card is attributed to Sun in Capricorn, uh, which again, I explained is in your third house of communication, but this is all about putting things in order. There is a sense of you putting things in order uh, in terms of the foundations of your life. Remember Pluto and Aquarius in your fourth house, foundations of life, home, family matters, children, significant other, moving, things like that. But also, if you're not here for that, finances, okay? Setting yourself up, especially, look at this, coming after the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Oh yeah, so there could be something new that, that you, maybe you are getting a new job. Remember, this full moon in Leo is in your 10th house of career. There could be something you're letting go in terms of career, in terms of like something that you're recognized for. And now, you have the two of pentacles indicate in the root of your spread another capricorn card look at that look at that and so there could be definitely something here where it's uh you do have to make a decision you have to make a decision there's a little bit of imbalance in the two of pentacles and uh it's all about having that balance at this point and having a good idea on what do I have to let go? And if I don't have to let anything go, uh, what is the thing that I should have a really firm grip on? And, and instead of something else, like prioritizing, okay? There could be a lot of like different things happening, like multitasking. I'm not surprised, especially because, um, you know, the North Node did move into Aries, which is your sixth house of everyday activities and projects and things like that. So there could be a lot of things that you may be juggling. Uh, and it could be something where it was like a lot. Remember, you did have those two Aries cards in your final outcome last week. OK, and so that, again, uh, could be a lot that's going on there. But even still make a decision this week. I think, you know, you have these two twos too, is, you know, all about duality and, you know, but wisdom too. So uh, I really have that moment this week. There is something new. It seems like something has got to go for this new thing to truly blossom. And then King of Swords in your future. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like that for you. I like that for you, especially if you are here for uh, home matters, uh, family uh, matters, uh, you know, again, like the foundations of your life. And the reason I say that is because King of Swords is Aquarius. And remember, Pluto moved into Aquarius. We're in Aquarius season. Uranus, uh, Aquarius is a ruling planet is like, whoosh. and so there you go. This is someone, a lot of power, a lot of authority. All right. You know, you're moving in that area. You're moving in that direction. Don't forget your last reading. Okay. This is, uh, uh, he's got a lot of power, but the thing here is he's faced a lot of truth. Okay. He's, he's, he's honest with himself. Nobody can hide anything from this King as well. He is, has a lot of power. All right. He, I'm going to show you something. He's the only King out of all the Kings in tarot that looks directly at you. I mean, this is truth. This is someone who is, it has nothing to hide. Okay. Head above the clouds, very headstrong. So again, remember I said, I've seen that strain earlier here, being honest with something that's going on that could be with a partnership relationship, uh, even yourself accepting truth for yourself. Uh, even like a friendship could be a thing as well. There's a lot of platonic love as well. Uh, but yeah, 
you're good. You're fine. You're moving into this place where you are headstrong. Uh, you and and you're ready to strike. Okay, you're ready to strike. You uh, even see his sword is tilted. Like he's 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 ready for action. He's ready for action. Now, Scorpio, let's get to your uh, stuff. You're good, by the way. You're good. Did I say that earlier, uh, Scorpio? If you like this reading. Would be great if you like, subscribe, share, leave comments, all that fun stuff. I really want to hear from you. I want to know what's going on. Um, and if you are a subscriber, thanks so much for being here. Y'all are amazing. I wouldn't be here without you, so I truly appreciate it. I really am grateful. And I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. There is a lot happening. Um, oh, yeah, you're good. You're okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. You are going to find that balance. You are going to find that balance. Everything is going to, you're going to be sorted. Uh, it seems like you're looking for it too. You did get the six of uh, pentacles. Very interesting. Uh, speaking of balance, he does hold the scale. And so I love this card. Six is the heart of the tree of life. So much harmony. Okay. So much harmony here. But six, uh, uh, with the six of pentacles, there is a sense of like, yes, that gratitude that, uh, that it really comes through. And it feels like there is a sense of you wanting to share and so much warmth and so much love. Uh, but also like if there is a place, like if you're in a place where you feel like you're not being supported, it seems like it is coming through. If you feel like a place, you're in a place where you need to be more supportive of others, that's possible. You can let that happen. Okay. You can let that happen. It's your choice. Remember you have the King of Swords in your future, but it is setting up this foundation for yourself. So, uh, money is definitely going to be uh, like really on your mind. You know, that's five pentacles here. Um, there and money and wealth, but remember wealth comes in a lot of different forms, especially when we're talking about the pentacles, which I said is earthbound. So it could be like wealth in your family, wealth in your career. So all of that, but this is a huge card of like generosity and gratitude. And it just seems like there is going to be uh, a sense of you uh, wanting support in those areas. Uh, it looks like you're going to get it too, but just, you know, be honest with yourself and in any situation. But you also did get the Knight of Wands, by the way. So you have the Knight of Wands uh, with the King of Swords. This is really great. Knight of Wands is just like, go, go, go. That's what this week's going to feel like anyway, right? With Pluto and Aquarius, with Mars and Capricorn, with all the, just so much, so much energy this week. Um, but I really do love this for you. This is really, really, really nice. And what's really interesting about this, I'm going to point this out too. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius card. Temperance, Sagittarius. Guess what Sagittarius rules for you, Scorpio? Your second house, salary, finances, income, money. So you have a lot of money, 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 money stuff happening here. Um, wow, really big. But it seems like there could be a sense of like um, you thinking about how everything's going to work out with, you know, uh, financial support or being able to financial like uh uh set yourself up like financially in a way where you're comfortable things like that may be a thing for you uh definitely may be a thing for you but there is a sense of like you going after your passions um really big i mean especially with your two knights here remember i said they're all very active and then the ten of wands where it falls in your spread it's just like no more burden no more stress i i, I want to get past this part i'm ready for the next part okay 10 is the end one zero equals one okay it is the end it's completion it's physicality it's you know uh, uh it, it, it's kind of like um the last thing you want right now is burnout. Okay. That is the last thing you want. All right. So do what you can. It looks like there is this new way of moving forward with money and wealth and providing and, uh, uh, feeling support and, and having support in your life. Now, temperance, there you go. Attributed to Sagittarius. You just got an archangel and your final outcome. This is absolutely amazing. This is a card of like balance. This is a card of just knowing that you're good, just knowing that you're taken care of. Okay. You're being taken care of and you have to, uh, you, uh, uh, like, um, what is the word? Uh, 
love it. <laughs> That's not the word I'm looking for, but uh, uh, know it. Okay, know that you're being taken care of. I how who am I? Know that you're being taken care of. This is a card where it's just like enjoy the ride. Don't stress about your future. Okay, don't stress about your future. You're being taken care of. Uh, there's a lot of balance in this card as well. Okay, you see her foot in the uh, his foot in the water. One on the land. Uh, it really is kind of like this link between like possible uh, possibility and like the reality of things but even still at the end of the day temperance literally means self-restraint so basically this is saying with it coming in your final outcome you're fine you're good and you may feel that you may uh, you you're you may have that clarity here where you're like why am i even stressing about this i think everything's going to be fine everything's going to be fine some of y'all are getting a new source of income some of y'all are changing jobs some of y'all are doing things that are dramatic some things may happen in an organic way or even with uranus being very you know having these uh, surprising like uh moments this weekend uh things that could be surprising or unexpected for you but in the end you're good you're good you're absolutely good look at this you're absolutely good so crazy one two three four five pentacle cards three Sagittarius cards that represent money for you. Okay. Remember Sagittarius rules your second house of money and, 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 and salary and, and finances. And if you're not here for money, which I, I, I think a lot of y'all are actually, you know, I usually say something else, but I think a lot of y'all are with, you know, again, take these cards away. You have five pentacles and then, or this, this one, three cards that represent money for you, right? Um, that's big, okay? But if you're not here for money and wealth, it is uh, self-confidence, self-worth, and and values, the things that you value, material uh, material goods, material things in your world, that that sort of stuff is the second house stuff as well. So it could be like this, uh, the, the confidence in those areas of your life. But do you see, do you see this, by the way? Do you see this? This is kind of big. Um, but definitely like foundations, just think foundations, long term, in it to win it. There's definitely something new happening in your life. You're you're really good. You're good. And you're gonna be you're gonna be absolutely fine. Um, that is so crazy. This is a you know, this is really crazy. It's just so crazy. This is such a rare spread. Another rare did you you had a rare you, this is just a this is a rare spread. This is a rare spread. Um it's it's a it's a really great one too. It's a really great one too. Uh, especially you know with the King of Swords in your future, uh, with the uh, 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 Knight of Wands as well. So uh, remember, turn those tur turn what's going on up here, uh, those ideas into action. Take action into like what's going on up here and communicate. Big thing, but know that you're protected and everything's going to be fine scorpio you're good thanks so much for tuning in if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments and uh next week february yeah we're there can you believe it yeah february so uh uh if there is any action you have to take by the way i'm just going to leave these just one last parting uh, thing is um February is very different from January, okay? Nothing's wrong with it, but we're, we're going to talk about February later. But uh, uh, if there's any action that you have to take, now is the time. You have to do it this week. You absolutely have to do it this week with, with this crazy, uh, amazing week of of letting something go and like all the... Anyway, like you, you get what I'm saying. Scorpio, thanks so much. I'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.